see is how policing is really about reassuring the public. You see, Jane, what most journalists don't realise is that half the job is letting people know you're around. So you believe in keeping up a high profile? Yeah. Well, you'll see the worth of it as we go through the day. I'm afraid my stint with you will be over pretty soon, Reg. I'm assigned to DS Beach at 11 o'clock. Oh, right, right. Well, I suppose you have to see their side of things too. Are you going to be writing about him as well? I haven't decided yet. You see, my editor wants something about a working policeman, so I'm playing it by ear. Yeah, to me, the uniform is a way of communicating with the public, building bridges. It makes my role obvious. I'm a firm believer in community policing. Morning, Mr Powell. Might turn out nice later. So what's she like then, Bob, this journalist? Yourself and yourself right now. That's just it. Got to be in court this morning. Well, Skase is going to have to look after her. Uh, sorry to keep you. And uh, now, before you disappear, Don. Hello. Another one. Can't work out what to do with me, can you? I thought you might tell Bob Cry and myself why Mr King has been in custody since 10 o'clock last night. I'll be back before the next review, sir. Well, in case you're not, just indulge us. We know that King is responsible for most of the LSD that's been sold in the clubs. Acting on information from one of my informants, I nicked him for possession last night. So, let's charge him and bail him. It was only a couple of tabs. I need to find his stash if we're going to get him for supplying. I need to hold him here while we follow up our leads. Didn't you search his premises? Yes, sir. We didn't find anything. But if I can just talk to my informant, I know that we can find it. Why didn't you do that last night? Well, there's a bit of a misunderstanding. Look, King will move his stash as soon as Blink wants to release him, sir. I'm not having you pulling a fast one, Don. I'll hold Mr King till one o'clock, but that's it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'll make sure that Rod's case gets hold of the little Toreg as soon as possible. He's taking this a bit personally. He's snout, sir. He loaned him his mobile phone last night so he could ring in and tell him when King was selling. Well, the snout never rang. It's worse than that. He's disappeared. <laughs> Sarge, I've been waiting here for nearly two hours. He's not going to show, not after nicking your phone. He's not that stupid. Yeah, all right. Yep, well, I'll stay here for as long as it takes. Yeah, fine. All right. Cheers, Sarge. Of course, the job's changed a great deal since I first joined. Hello. Not my O'Leary started early. Aren't you going to do anything about him? Funny old Kingsley. Bit of a local character. It's quite a story, actually. Uh, tragic. His wife left him a few years ago and he hit the blues, and well, he's been on the streets ever since. I've sort of befriended him, you know. What? You stupid old bastard! What have you done now, huh? Get him hey? off me! Get him off all right, me! All right, sir, I'll sort this out, thank you. You're lucky, you know that. That's got nothing to do with it. I bet this ruins your morning, scumbag! Yeah, all right, all right. And who are you, please? Mark Dempster, I managed this place. Did you see what happened? No. No, I didn't see it. I was inside. But we'll press charges, right? It's about time you were put inside. Did you see what happened? No, I'm afraid not. Well, how about you? Too busy. Sorry, love. Who's the owner around? The owner? Oh, no, he's away on business. And you see, we're going to need someone to sign the compensation form. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him when he gets back. Look, I've got to go turn this alarm off, right? Nasty piece of work. Who's she? Local journalist. She's writing about Reg. <laughs> the story is I could tell you, love. Kingsley, what's been going on? My birthday today. Gonna to be 50. I thought I deserved a bit more than a shop doorway on me 50. Nice clean cell, three meals a day, give me a chance to think. Are you saying you admit breaking the window? If I do, that'd be cooperating, wouldn't it? Yes. Then I don't know who did. I was just listening to the birds when I heard a crash. Sorry, love. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Blimey. me. gets longer every time. Reg! Stop him! Go. Oi! Police! Stop him! Stop! Come. 
Hello, Mr. Skase. What have you got in your mouth? Nothing. See? Didn't know his ass from his... All right, all right, let's get you down the station. I'm going to see if I can get some winners from somewhere, Debbie. Right. You look like you needed the exercise. Oh, oh, fat lot of good you were, Reg. Yeah, well, I was dealing with another incident, oh, actually. Oh, keeping crime at bay. Well, don't keep a lady waiting. Who's he? Ah, oh, it's DC Rod Skase. Is he your superior officer? No, he just acts like he is. Oh, by the way, Reg, the shop owner's name's Mr. Richard King. He's not in at the minute, so we'll have to come back and get a statement. All right. So, what do we do now? Meet more of the public. Well, it's, it's still functioning. Nah, it's useless, that. That it, then? Yeah. So, no little packets of pills or bits of paper with Mickey Mouse on? No. No? No. Right, if you'd like to sign there, please. It's only a phone, man. It's not like it's nothing important. Inspector Munro wants to see you, Rod, as soon as you're ready. Yeah, you want to watch it, mate. Inspector wants to see you. No, I didn't. Get lost. <laughs> Public don't seem to like the police much around here, do they, Reg? Excuse me, might I have a word? Oh, yes, sir. I saw the whole thing. Premeditated criminal damage, no question. What, you witnessed the window being smashed? I did. I imagine you'll be wanting some form of verbal statement from me now. Oh, yes, please. At approximately 9.33 this morning, I saw a shabbily dressed man of indeterminable age throw a brick through the window of Mayola Sports. And I have photographs. Photographs? No point in a neighbourhood watch if you don't follow it through. I'll report to the station in a couple of hours once I develop these. Well, I take it all back, Reg. You obviously do have a way with people. Right, Gary. Raybid, mate. Call a man by the name, and my name's Raybid. All right, Raybid. You told Sergeant Beach that you could put the finger on Richard King, which is why he lent you his mobile phone. You said that you could tell us where he keeps his gear. Too much. Too young. King had battered me. Bread and batter pudding. Don't mess us about, Rabid. No, man. No way. None of that. Don't get heavy. Oh, I'm not speaking now. You all right, Rabid? David, I'm sorry, all right? Just tell us about Richard King. That's fantastic, man. Respect. What? Well, you let go of that anger and you tuned it right back into love. Be bigger than your role. Yeah, I feel you. Star. Were you carrying anything this morning? Never without, mate. And you swallowed it when I caught you, didn't you? Did I? So you're stoned now, yeah? All loved up, nowhere to go. <sighs> Interview terminated at 10, 12 a.m. It's all right, Liz. I'll deal with this. So you have an ID, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. We're mates, aren't we, Rabid? Amazing time, man. So... brown. Rabid. Mate. T tell us about King. Well, I don't know much. Just whispers. I was trying to keep Mr. B sweet. Oh, great. Mate, 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 don't grieve. I'll give you something. Not King, no. That's too dangerous. Guy who works for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, me too. No, the guy, the guy. Dempster, Mark Dempster. 15 Lee Lane. He works for King in his shop. Yeah, I remember him. He used to deal whiz on the Abelard, didn't he? Yeah. Talcum powder. Now works in King's shop mornings. And he's got his own little business going in the afternoons. He keeps it at home in his fridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, acid, isn't it? Keeps it fresh. 
But Dempster should know where King stores his drugs. Should do. Dempster done me on a load of jugglers last week. I mean, how can you do someone over acid? That's like stealing from kids. It's terrible. You know what I mean? Shocking. So, everyone that gets arrested ends up here, do they? That's right. What happens if they get violent? Oh, well, of course it doesn't happen as often as you think. Well, come on down and welcome oh, no, no, to the no, no, pleasure no, 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 dome! No, 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 no. Wait, wait, come on, calm down, sit. Sit here. Another chair, go on. Right, <laughs> Reg. Keep an eye on him, will you? Is he all right? Fantastic. Top form. I couldn't be better. It's all right here, you know. I thought it'd be well heavy. Well, that is good to know. What have you taken? A few lemon bombs, a couple of these. Yeah, come on, on your feet. All right, nice quiet time in the cell. That will suit you. Come on, thanks. Mate and mates. See yeah. ya. Come on, in you go. Yeah. In you go. He seems very cheerful. Yeah, well, I've, I've got away with people. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah, name's Jane Russell. Can Evening News. My name's Rod. You'll be working with me later. Uh, yeah, but so that's not for my name. Rod? Yeah. What are you doing about King? Um, excuse me. Well, I've got a lead, Sergeant. Would you, uh... Yes. Rod's case? Yeah, hello, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, we've got him, yeah. Well, not exactly, no, but... Sorry. Everything OK, Miss Russell? Reg looking after you? Yes, he's being very attentive, Sergeant. I thought Debbie and I could uh, take Miss Russell through the O'Leary paperwork later on. Let the press see exactly what real policing's all about. But Debbie's got a dental appointment, so you're on your own in this one, Reg. Keep an eye on his grammar. Yeah, but Rabid doesn't know anything. Well, it's all right, we've got something else. Rod! Yep, Sarge, look, I've got to go. Yeah, yes, yeah, all right, look, speak to you later, cheers. Sir? You do realise Miss Russell is due to be assigned to you in half an hour? Yes, sir. Well, I hope she'll witness the same calm, effective policing that Reg has shown so far. Of course, sir. What did Mr Rabid have to say for himself? Well, he's given us a very positive lead on someone who works in one of King's shops, a Mark Dempster, who also buys drugs off King and deals for himself. So he should be able to tell us where King has hidden his stash. Are you sure about this, Rod? Well, I do have to make some additional inquiries. But it is new evidence, so I'll be needing a search warrant, sir. Well, you better hurry up, then. Or in two and a half hours, Richard King will be back on the street. That's most of the duplication out of the way. You probably noticed that I took detailed notes from O'Leary at the scene of the crime. Oh, yes. Saves time at this stage when you've got to reproduce the same information on several different sheets. Do you want another cup of tea? Why not? Do you mind if, uh... You, uh, you're the reporter? Oh, friendly one, I assure you. You're not really going to write about Reg, are you? Why not? Well, you want to write about someone with a bit more, um... Charisma. Uh, Miss Russell, has DC Scase found you yet? Uh, either of you two called Scase? Uh, no, we were just on our way, sir. Jay Swine. Sorry, sir, just getting a search warrant. Uh, Miss Russell, this is DC Scase. I'm afraid DS Beach has been detained. Uh, we've met. You sound as though you're working on something quite important. Yeah, well, it will make a change from broken windows. I'm afraid I'm taking Miss Russell away now, Reg. Well, maybe Rod could use some uniform backup. Oh, you seem pretty busy already. I hope you're finding this useful. Thank you very much for your time, Reg. You know, there's still a great deal to show you. Uh, well, why don't we have a chat a little bit later? Maybe once you've finished your paperwork? Yeah, these are very useful, Mr Lazenby, thank you. A pleasure, young man. I'll keep a record of everything. Hmm. Of course, I can only deal with my own small patch, but... Uh, You've got to start somewhere. Right. Now, uh, if we could just concentrate on the window. I'd say that was a pretty trivial matter compared with anabolic steroids. With what? I have reason to believe he's preparing dangerous chemicals on his premises. Right. Well, uh, if we could just concentrate on the window, Mr. Lazenby. Jane, it's best you stay back when we make the arrest. What, do you think he might be violent? You never know. 
He has no record of violence. If he had, we wouldn't have brought you with us. Sure. Just be careful, all right? Mark Dempster. Who wants to know? DC Skates of Sunhill. This is a warrant to search your premises as we believe you are hiding drugs here. You won't find anything. I don't deal anymore. You can strip search me any time, darling. Watch it. Oi! Can't search in there. Ah. Well, look what I found behind the fish fingers. Right, Mr O'Leary. What's for lunch, Reg? I don't know, mate. Shepherd's pie. Oh, lovely. It, look, just for the record, where were you at around 9.30 this morning? I ate him. Oh. My oldest sports him, that bastard Dempster. Put the hose on me in the middle of winter. I picked him on purpose. Everyone knows King's selling drugs to kids. Are you admitting causing criminal damage to the window of my oldest sports? Am I? Slip of the tongue. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, Reg. Needs must. Well, for the benefit of the tape, I am now showing Mr O'Leary one half of an ordinary house brick. Exhibit RH1, retrieved from the broken window. Do you recognise this object? I have never seen that half of an ordinary house brick before in my life. What sort of veg will we get with the pie? Who's the tar then? In you go. You're obviously not a copper, love. In! So how's Rabid? Have a look. FME says he's still aware of his surroundings and seems perfectly calm about staying. Wish they were as all as well behaved. Shouldn't you be asking about King? He'll be fine. Yeah, but I'm not. This Nick is filling up with your suspects. You've got an hour, Rod. Please. Listen, Jane, I'm going to have to leave you out of the interview. Is that all right? Oh, right. Yeah, that might be dangerous. This procedure. Yeah, I understand. So maybe you'd like to grab a coffee or something? All right. Yeah, give me a good chance to catch up with Reg. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you to the canteen, yeah? Any others? Aliases. Well, there's O'Reilly, O'Malley, O'Flaherty, uh, O'Connell. Mm. OK. Uh, they're all with Lee or Seamus, or uh, sometimes Patrick. Organisations you're involved with. Oh, we finished on the names then? Well, aren't we? Oh no, they're just the Irish ones. Now don't cut corners, Reg. We've still got nicknames to go. Then, uh, dates of birth. Right then, Mr Dempster. I want to do a deal. How did you come by the drugs that we found in your flat? Oh, Richard King, who else? Look, if I give you King, I get off, yeah? Well, a couple of years. Well, what do you want me to say? So you say that you get the drugs off King? Yeah, of course. Where does he keep his supplies? Eh? Where do you buy the drugs off him? Different places. Where? I don't know. Pubs, cinemas, sometimes on the common. It's never the same place twice. What about at work? No. No, we never talk about it there. Well, King's not stupid, you know? Look, I can't offer you a deal, Mark. But if you help me find his stash, then maybe we can tell the judge at your trial how you helped us. So come on, where does King keep his drugs? But I don't know that. Nobody knows that. I'm sorry. You haven't given us a thing. You're free to go. All mail, aren't you, son? I warned you, Rod. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just not looking forward to telling Sergeant Beach, that's all. We spent three hours picking up the rest of it. <laughs> worst, <laughs> worst body I've ever had was that bloke that went missing last summer. Oh, I remember that. Uh, We're finished. How did it go? Well, it's taking longer than I thought. Come on. Afternoon, Mr Beach. Nice day for it. Well, can't you arrest him again? Not when he knows we've got Dempster. He'll shut down completely. Yes, Reg. Oh. I'm just going to input the info on O'Leary into Chris. That's the crime report and information system, Tony. Yeah, well, we're busy right now. All right. OK. Nice one, Rodney. I've just watched a particularly nasty villain walk out of here with a smile on his face. Dempster didn't know where King kept it. I had nothing else to go on, Sarge. You talking about Richard King? Runs my own sports. Miss Russell, isn't it? 
I'm Detective Sergeant Beach. I'm sorry you get to see us looking so inept. Oh, Rodney's been doing his best, Sergeant. Looks like simple bad luck you missed this one. Yeah, I've got a witness here. Says he thinks that King's involved in smuggling or something. Reg, please. Yeah, he watches King's shop. Takes photographs. Obsessive voyeurism, it's called. Often a mild form of schizophrenia. What's he mean, smuggling? Well, people deliver things to his shop and he keeps them in his office. In the freezer, I think. You interested then? Mr. Lazenby? Yes? Um, Detective Sergeant Beach, this is DC Scase Sunhill. You too, as well. Uh, you were uh, interviewed earlier by PC Hollis. Yes. He said that you may have some information about some illegal activities taking place across the road. Your female companion has no card. Oh, yeah, well, Miss Russell's from the local paper and she's doing an article on neighbourhood watch schemes and she's particularly interested in the records that you've been keeping. Come in. And these were all taken over the last three years? They're all dated on the back. How often do the couriers come? Once a month. Always on a Sunday when there's no one else there. And what's going on here? Steroids. What? I'm sure of it. See here. The chemicals are delivered by courier, and he stores them in that back room there. Where'd you take this from? I've got a direct view from my window. Hey, his car's there already. Come on, Rod. Right. You're going to stay here, Mr. Lazenby. What, Miss Anna's story? Well, I'm sure he's got plenty of information for you. That's it. You're free to go. John? Sorry, Kingsley. Nothing I could do. And the peas were overcooked. Excuse me. Mr. King about. We need to talk to him about compensation for his broken window. Out the back. Right, Thank thanks. you. Sorry to bother you, Mr. King. We need your compensation claim. This is harassment, Beach. Get out. Just routine. Got to get this paperwork sorted on your broken window. Tomorrow. Hello? What's this, then? Oh, dear. More paperwork, Mr King. I've got so much more material to show you. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rod, maybe you should look after Mr Lazenby and Miss Russ. Huh? Oh, this is the busy bit, love. Boy stuff. Oh. So, Jane. I hope you found it all very interesting today. Maybe you and I could go for a little drink later and discuss it in more detail. Reg! How nice to see you. Do you know, after everything I've seen today, I've decided to base the entire article on you. It's so refreshing to know there are some really mature policemen on the beat. Goodbye. Thank you. Yes, I'm, uh... I feel I should say that you've had an exceptional day. It's not normally as exciting as this. Oh, really? Look, uh, my flower beds are just round the corner if you fancy a look. I mean... My car is just here, Reg. I'll give you a call tomorrow, OK? Thank you very much for today. Uh... What? <gasps> oh! Sorry, love. Needs must. But that'd be enough to get me inside, Reg. 